Hello Pisces, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your April 2024 mini tarot reading. I'd love to get started, but I have an announcement, of course, before we begin. My friend Ann Drennan and I will both be at Spirit Fest in Sarasota this month. We'll be there April 6th and 7th, and I'm looking to make sure I give you the correct address. We'll be at the fairgrounds, uh, Roberts Arena, 3000 Ringling Brothers Boulevard in Sarasota. And it's a, a wonderful event. She will be doing her repurposed leather purpose with healing stones on them. And I'll be doing readings. So if you get a chance, please, please stop by and say hello. The show in Orlando was fantastic. Uh, it was so nice to meet those of you that came to see me. I so appreciate having met you after reading for you for all this time. It was really a blessing to see you there. Um, also, you may want to check your sun, your moon, and your rising sign, as sometimes they do connect better than just your sun sign. And I will be pulling the love and money cards at the end. Uh, so let's get started um, to see what's coming up for you. Pisces, here we go. Let's see. I did shuffle these, but I just felt a need to shuffle them a little bit again. So let's see here. What is coming up for Pisces for April 2024? Oh my goodness, here we go. Let's see. Oop, we got two there, we'll keep those. Oh my goodness, here we go. It says, uh, I have the star card followed by the chariot. I just feel like spirit's really gonna be helping you. So pay attention to your, you know, if you have a feeling, an inkling, whatever, you know, so many people say, oh, I shoulda, coulda, would I, you know, woulda. Sometimes that's just a reminder that, you know, if you have a feeling, that you shouldn't go somewhere, or you should go somewhere, or you should make a phone call, or shouldn't, using those as an example, really trust yourself. It says you're a chariot, one who achieves greatness. When you tune into your um, intuition, you know, it's that, you know, don't believe everything it says until, you, you know, you have to work with it. It's like a, uh, you, you fine tune it, I guess is a good way to put it. it seems like you are uh, already in the works with working with money from the past. Okay, I'm not sure if that's, making a financial plan or changing something that you do. Maybe your income is getting better or there's an adjustment to be made, but I just feel like it's something that's gonna work really well for you. It says intuition, intuition is what I keep hearing. So if you don't use yours, start working with it. You'll be quite surprised how nice it feels to know. Or when you trust that, just that little bit of a whisper, you'll see how that works for you. Uh, and then again, work with it, <laughs> work with it. So sometimes here in the relationship area, having a little difficulty with communication. Okay, now I don't know if that's marriage or just love interest or, you know, child, parent, something like that. It just says, remember, just because you know something, whoever you're talking to might not understand what you're saying. So be patient in your conversations of explaining or working through things. I do feel things are gonna go up and down for you, especially in relationship area, close ones like family, children, uh, friends and such. So, so again, have a little patience as you're speaking uh, and it'll go a long way for you. It says that um, there is gonna be a change um, in, I don't know if it's a learning process or you're gonna, there's gonna be a change where you're gonna learn something that you go, oh, I get this, I got it, it's so good. Now, for some of you, that might be reading a book and getting it, might be in a classroom and getting it, might be just an idea you have. It's gonna be kind of different for a lot of folks, but it's gonna be like, oh, I, like an aha moment almost, I got this, and you know, whatever it is, it's going to be a big deal for you. It's going to be, you know, how something so small could change something so big. It's kind of like that, if you understood what I just said. It sounds like a riddle, but it's not. Sun card joy here. There's joy this month. It just seems like, you know, some of the past things that have gone on, the, the ones that have had ill health, maybe things are going to get better. Or maybe things changed. Also for those who have had plans of that have failed because of the weather, because of sickness, you know, because of all the different things. I just feel like there's going to be positive things. The tower card kind of could be left behind in a way, which is a really, really good thing for all of us. Um, in the love area, it says, again, express yourself. Um, and when you're speaking or talking, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with what you do, Pisces, but I'm just picking up for some of you you know, you, you assume, you assume that your partner knows how you feel. You assume that your child knows what you want. So just be good and patient while you're speaking to people. And I'm sorry, I sound like a broken record. I've said that numerous times already, but I just want to make sure that the message, I'm saying it right. 
It says if counsel is needed, by all means, you should get some. If there's sadness from the past that you can't seem to uh, deal with, because any kind of sadness from the past, if it affects you, it's, it's a, it can be a serious thing. Most people just, oh, stuff that down. I don't want to deal with that today. And it pops out at, oh, the most inconvenient times. So if you need counsel, get counsel, whether that be with a lawyer, or a doctor, or two friends talking, <clears throat> it will be a good thing. Looking back on how we got to where we are, that's hard to do sometimes. You know, we're all so busy. We got phones, computers, kids, you know, a responsibility. Sometimes we just need to go for a walk in the woods or a walk in the park or get our feet on Mother Earth and pick up some of that energy. It says it would be good for you just to take some quiet time for yourself, whether it's 10 minutes or 10 hours or 10 days, how much ever you can. <coughs> Excuse me, I got this cough going on. I hope it's gone soon. <laughs> Allergy should be changing. It says, don't be giving your power away either. By that, it means it's okay to say no. You know, if you are, <coughs> excuse me, overloaded with work or overloaded with stress, it's real important that you find a way to relieve some of that. And you know, we all think we're very strong and most of us are. And we can carry a lot, but sometimes the best course of action is to step back and say, you know, wait a minute, I just need a moment for myself or a day or whatever it is. And it's like making an agreement with yourself, as weird as that sounds. But who do we talk to all day long in our mind? Ourselves. Um, so it just says, give yourself permission to do those things. Give yourself permission to celebrate. Give yourself permission to do some of the things that you really would like to do. Sometimes the smallest little thing we do for ourselves lasts for a really long time. Um, you know, again, with peace or tired or quiet, whatever, maybe you need to go to the gym or, or to the library, whatever it is, I think if you uh, let your partner, your spouse, whoever, let them know what's going on, they're going to support you. And I just feel like with that, the Wheel of Fortune is going to bring change for you. I also feel like um, springtime, which here in the States is right now, so I'm going to call it as of right now, no matter where you are, that is definite time. It's like, you know, when the, the flowers pop up out of the ground, which I've seen uh, through the snow here <laughs> in a couple times, um, it's time for that renewal. It's time to begin to begin again. I have like three aces in a row here, so I feel like new beginnings definitely for you. I feel like with the, which is the ace of wands. Then I have the ace of swords, which I feel is going to be your victory. Ace of pentacles. What you need will show up, whether that be uh, money or a person. You know, we we ask for well, okay, universe, how is this serving me? I need finances to buy that house and then get out of the way you know, you're asking for them to bring it to you but when we you know keep looking it kind of postpones it, it says you're stronger than you realize I do feel you definitely are going to make the right choices so put your worry to rest if you don't should I pick red should I pick blue should I pick red should I pick blue if you don't know the answer it's not time to pick if, if you're asking for help, you should hear red or blue, kind of distinct. If it's not a big you know, choice of red or blue, and again, using that as an example, it's not time yet. You maybe need more information. Maybe you need more time. But when we put the worry away, things will definitely fall into place. I feel like, um, again, the choices you make are going to be really good for you. Not just for today, not just for this month, but it's like permanent changes and again, not that I'm beating you up, there's nothing wrong with you, but it just looks like the choices you make are going to change things for you in more ways than one, which is pretty awesome. It says lessons learned now are going to be, uh, the lessons you've learned just recently or have been working on are going to be permanent changes for you. Positive changes, excuse me, I left that word out. So let me pick these up and then remind you, remember this is a general reading if you'd like one just about you. You can go to my website. I have included all the information down below. And get yourself set up. Uh, and also check your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. But let's do those uh, three card pulls for love and money. Let's see here. And I did shuffle them, so all I have to do is cut them. So what is coming up for Pisces in the love area? Let's do love first. Here we go. Ace of Swords. Four of Cups. 
Ooh, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, I do feel like you're going to feel like a victor in the love area. Not that there's, you know, the winner and the loser, but it seems like you're going to feel good about yourself. And when you feel good about yourself, the energy you give off is quite interesting, or not interesting, enjoy, enjoyable. Um, quickly, this seems to be happening, but it looks like that you have been pondering and thinking about stuff for a long time and, and wondering, is this right? Is that right? Am I with the right person? You know, is there is there anybody out there for me? Those of you that are single, I think this is going to be a month where it's good for those with and those who are single might actually be um, brave enough to believe that and open to receive that love certainly is for them too. So let's do the three card money. I have the five of wands. I have the king of swords and I have the eight of cups. So it says here, there's a lot of talk. I don't know if this is if this is with partners or whatever. There's a lot of talk about money here, whether that's with your bank or with your family or just, you know, even with yourself. Like I said, we spend the most time with ourselves and our mind going over and over and over again. It looks like those of you that are wanting to change jobs to make more money, it looks like it could be a good time for that. And it's, um, if you're unhappy with your work, easiest to find a job when you have one. And I do feel like a man with brown hair, brown eyes, it speaks kind of directly. I almost feel like an advisor of some kind could certainly help you make some choices with your finances that will help that grow and maybe rebuild for those of you that may have, for whatever reason, lost some of the money or haven't started yet. So this could be the month that you get going. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss Pisces. Thank you so much for dropping by and I'll see you again next month.